This is Mrs. Taylor at the Indian Hill Church, and we're here today to make resurrection rolls for Easter. So here is what you need. You need some crescent rolls from the grocery store, and if you don't have crescent rolls, that's okay. You can make like a biscuit or some kind of um, like bread dough in your bread machine with some yeast. Something simple, anything that you can have to wrap up the marshmallows. And you need a marshmallows. I only had jumbo marshmallows, so I had to cut mine in half. Probably the little teeny tiny marshmallows won't work. Probably just a regular size is the best size. And then you need some butter. Just melt some butter in a dish. And then put cinnamon and sugar, just a mixture of cinnamon and sugar in a flat dish for you to roll the roll in. So here's what we're going to do. We're gonna separate out the crescent roll. Mine is a little gooey. And then we're gonna put a marshmallow inside it. The trick is to wrap it up super tight so the marshmallow does not escape and melt all over the pan. Then you roll it in butter. And then you roll that in cinnamon and sugar. We're gonna go ahead and make a couple more. Hmm, okay. Maybe we'll just make one more. marshmallow inside. That does not have enough dough, so you're going to need a little more dough. I'm just going to pat that dough out flat. So wrap it up. The key is to not let the marshmallow sneak out. And then you roll it in cinnamon and sugar. And then you're going to bake it according to the crescent roll package. Mine says 375 for 10 to 12 minutes. And this is what they look like when they're done. They're really supposed to look more like this roll. Um, you can tell my marshmallows leaked out. And so when you cut it open, There is a hole in the middle where the marshmallow used to be, and it's just like Jesus' tomb on Easter when the tomb was empty. I hope you enjoy making your rolls. Goodbye!